The AI dystopia has just gotten a little bit closer. As of recently, NVIDIA has had substantial breakthroughs in supercomputing technology. The DGX HG200 Grace Hopper Super Chip. But how does it work? On a high level, it combines the NVIDIA's Grace CPU and Hopper GPU along with high speed memory all packed into a single package. This is the foundation for the DGX HG200 AI supercomputing platform. All right, look at this. One of the standout features of the super chip is the incredible data bandwidth it offers between the CPU and the GPU. With up to one terabytes of throughput, this super chip takes on memory bound workloads with ease. This is especially useful for the AI applications that will be running the world here pretty soon. I'm not trying to sound like your friend after a couple beers saying something about how AI is going to replace all jobs, but the super chip is going to power the AI supercomputing platform. By combining 256 of these chips, NVIDIA has created a powerhouse capable of handling massive generative AI workloads. With 144 terabytes of shared memory, this platform is optimized for tasks like AI training large language models and data analytics. One of the biggest challenges in supercomputing is connectivity. NVIDIA tackles this by utilizing their custom NVLink which bypasses the limitations of standard clustered connectivity options like InfiniBand band and ethernet. This in turn boosts scalability and enhances overall performance. Major tech giants like Google, Meta, and Microsoft are already scrambling to get their fingers on these systems. It's clear that supercomputing in the world of AI is only going to get better. Maybe Alex Jones was right. AI is in the second dimension right now and is trying to get into the third so it can launch itself into the higher dimensions and control the human race.